The third time's a charm, but for only one team. Nick and I will find out which team continues on their quest for a championship after today's third round game between the North Carolina Tar Heels and the Baylor Bears. It's showtime, baby. Let's get the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Bears are short of a tough battle tonight, Dick. What's uh, the key for them to succeed? Here's what I think, Brad. Number one, challenge every shot from the perimeter. Get right up in their faces, baby. Secondly, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Boy, that stat at the end could be a big one. And lastly, be aggressive defensively. Don't give them any open looks. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Up and inside. He intercepts it. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Boy. Terrible execution on offense. Hey, look out below, baby. Oh, my. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The small forward receives the ball. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. He shoots from outside. Tickles a twine. Trying to go inside. It doesn't go. Number zero handles the pass. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Dumps it in. Number 15 receives the pass. Can't get the shot to drop. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. They look to get it to the inside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Kicks it out. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Trifecta off the rim and no good. Number 21 handles the feed. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. And he missed. Looking for a good shot. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. The Tar Heels have a player spotting up on the three. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? He unloads a three. That's an ill-advised shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. On the outside. For two. Perfectly executed. That's a 10 nothing run.
Let's get ready to resume the action. Sets the screen for his teammate. Look at that space. He uses the shot fake. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Tries to get the D to bite. Now he faces up on the low block and has it rejected. He fits did a great job with a block shot. Trying to feed inside. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I think did a great job creating a good angle too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Looking for a good shot. Number 14 fakes the shot. He wants a three. He shows the sweet touch. <laughs> Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. On the outside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Fronts him and works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So I'm saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post play. Gave it up, tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Number 14 with the steal. He hammers it home. Squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. He tries the three. Sinks the shot. He takes the three. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Up and inside. The power forward in the paint. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. For the bucket. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. For two. Doesn't go. Number 50 is pounded on his way up. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. First one is no good. his second shot the 
thinks about the shot. Double team now, bad angle. Number 50 is whistled for the foul. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. All right, thanks, Aaron. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Number 50 is animated and ready to go. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really good. A great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He throws it up from downtown. North Carolina are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they're going to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes up for two. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Now work it around the arc. Way out on top, controlling the ball. They work it around the perimeter. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. And in and out. Shooter spotting up on the three. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Inside. On the outside. He puts up the tray. Way off target. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle they work. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the dribble. Gives it up. Puts the ball loose. Looking to move it around the perimeter with a deep shot from outside. Tries for two. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, bud. Both teams looking to get things going here. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Gave it up. Nice drop step. I'll tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Working it around the perimeter, way out on top, controlling the ball. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Right to the defender. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Number 21 makes a great move to draw the foul. He steps up to the line. Routine. Routine. 
And he got them both. There's the fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Number zero is asking the crowd for some encouragement. Well, he wants the crowd to get up for this defensive possession. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. North Carolina are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Side. Nobody rotated down from up on top. There's the trap. He tries the three ball. The Tar Heels have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. He shoots from the top of the key. He takes the rebound. The defense is dictating their offense. Hey, that's the way you draw it up, Brad. And there's a lazy pass that's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? And a momentary look from three-point land. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Two, he nails the shot. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries for two. And off the mark. Looking for a good shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Check out this young man, Brad. He's taunting the opponent. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. The skip pass is picked off. The Bears have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Number 22 picks up the foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Rims off. He gets the board. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. And he missed. They work it around the arc. For the bucket. He gets the bucket to fall. Another look. circle they work it around the perimeter doesn't go I think they're trying to make a statement oh and he's not going to be happy with that call well it's silly foul right there but look at his face his facial expression tells it all at the foul line First one is good. Yeah. 
Misses the second. They're not getting the balls to fall from the line. Hey, if I were to coach this team, I would make them run so many lines, I would pass out from watching them run, Brad. Pump fakes. Here's the three ball. Off the rim and no good. For two. There's a very tight lid on that rim for him right now, Dick. That's right, Brad. Nothing seems to be dropping. Steals a pass. They work the perimeter. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does it. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. They're working around the perimeter. Kicks off the lazy pass. Looking for a good shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Momentary look from three-point land. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. They're working around the perimeter. With the block. Baylor have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. High post screen. The Bears have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Working around the perimeter. He makes the block. It's a block party out there. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. Way off target. Fakes a jumper. Here's the toss back out from. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Fakes the shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Goes. Shot clock is dead. Goes up for two. In and out. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. At the half, the Tar Heels are up by one. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. is losing in the rebounding category so far in this ballgame, partner. Hey, any rebounding deficit is bad for this team. They're going to have to channel some of their playing energy toward hitting the boards. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. Goes up for two. He can't get the hoop to fall. The 
defensively try to stay with his man and he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside and they attack him aggressively. He's got a high post flasher. Ball handler's in trouble. For the bucket, they still don't score. The power forward takes the pass. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Kicks it out. The shooting guard gets the pass. Fires away. Off the rim and no good. Too physical. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Here's a flash from the post up high. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. The shooting guard with the ball. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that jet. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Hey, Brad, it's embarrassing to get scored on like that. He'll visit the charity strike. Nope. Not a very good night at the line, Dick. Absolutely no excuse for that, Brad. No excuse. Shoots from right of the circle. Rims out. Gets it to fall. There's a double team waiting there. Fakes the shot. The power forward takes the feed. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any open. Pressure in the basketball. the high screen for two doesn't go up and inside he didn't have the good angle they should have got it to him about a second earlier on the outside for two it's good Pushing that basketball. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'm telling you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Attempts the trifecta. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. I don't think he's done yet, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They're working around the arc. He tries to knock down the three. Off the rim and no good. Basket falls despite the contact. Look at that spacing. He unloads a three. 
He seems absolutely adverse to taking any good shots right now. And with that, his teammates may be getting a little bit frustrated. Fake for the bucket. Perfectly executed. That's an eight zip run. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Moving it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. And he scores despite the hack. Seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. Up fake. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Picks off the pass. The pass is stolen. Hey, he got a clean break on it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from the elbow, and he can't hit the shot. The power forward gets the ball. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Gave it up. Takes away the pass. out of play. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. Got a man in high post. Lobs it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Right now, I've got to focus defensively. They work the perimeter. He looks for three. Baylor are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. They go inside and now back outside. I'll tell you, inside outside action always works. There's the pick. He takes another bad shot. Bad shots killed chemistry, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a double team. Great defense. And back they come the other way. He's money with a shot. Side for two drops the bucket despite the harm. He 
He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Nice high post screen. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He pulls the trigger. Double team now. Bad angle. He launches the bomb. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. He blocks the shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, guys, after all, this is the NCAA Finals. In talking with both coaches before the game, they figured it would be a close game from start to finish. I'm certainly looking forward to the game's ending. Thanks, Aaron. Jumped in front to take it away. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special warrant. Feet in the post. Picked out of the air. The Tar Heels aren't afraid to recruit some big time athletes, especially if you look at their track record. Well, you know, I'm not sure if they recruit them, but there always seems to be a few of them on their roster. There they come with a double team to stop it. The turn of the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Intercepted. Look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. They're working around the perimeter. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. There's the trap. Perfectly executed. He attempts the three. Wow, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Gave it up. Nice move with the face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. On the outside. For the bucket. He gets the bucket. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Great play to take that to the basket. around the arc. Pulls 
the trigger. Way off target. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. He intercepts it. He shoots from the top of the circle. He nails the shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important. For the block. Off the rim and no good. Big finish coming here, partner. I'm not going anywhere. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. Working it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Up, easy one. Steal. Defense got it after knocking it loose. They scored eight in a row. He shoots from long range. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. He takes the shot off the baseline. The Tar Heels have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Steals the pass. They work the perimeter. He lets it go. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Looking for a good shot. High post screen, gonna use it. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. The ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. It's that what makes college so special. The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. And the ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. For two, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. No good. Ball goes out of bounds. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing, they're getting good shots and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. There's a double team waiting there. The lay -in.
Gave it up. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Take it away. Here they come the other way. Tries for two. Tries the turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Stolen ball on the dribble, gives it up. He posterized it. Look out, he's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. <laughs> Number 15 goes and shooting one. No doubt about it. The center in the paint. Drips him clean. A timeout on the floor, and that gives us a break to go courtside. Here's Aaron. Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Just about ready for a play to resume. They shave the lead down to three. There's a lot of time to pull this one out, Brad. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Wide open for the shot. Let's it fly. Baylor have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. play on both sides. One would assume so. Brad, I'm afraid to hear this crowd if they can get a stop on this possession. They're looking around the perimeter. Went away from the post and goes the other way. For the deuce. He puts it in with contact and all. It's a two-point game. The fans are going to make it even tougher, Brad. You didn't expect him to quiet down, did you, Dick? In the paint. He tries a jump hook. Rims out. Shots there if he wants it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. I got to be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. the clock again. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when the foul is an important part of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. And there's a look at the foul situation so far. Hey, knowing when to foul and when not to foul is a great skill to have. Coaches should always be communicating this with their team. He hits his second. 
They need a basket here to turn this into a one possession game. Try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Shot clock is dead. Obvious foul. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. Look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose the air. And you get balled like I am. That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. Step out on that screener. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Pitts is second. They need to score here to turn this into a two possession game. on the floor. He goes for the trifecta. Buries it. Wow, man, that stops the clock again. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few in your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. Hits the second shot. Timeout's call. And the coach wants to talk about how they're going to overcome this big deficit. Let's get back to the action. Attempts the Hail Mary. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Dick, I think the better team won. We can say that. And uh, it's heartbreak for the other club. But, you know, you've got to win it. Keep on going to get to that final Monday night game. Well, I'll tell you, won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Tar Heels just wanted it a little bit more in this game, and because of that, they're going to live to play another day, Dick. Hey, they're on their way to the Elite Eight, Mr. Nestler, where they'll be joined by the seven best teams in the nation. Brad Nestler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.